little logo and then on the back still beyond excited to try and then basically you have to wrap it around number 11 I'm pretty sure it's called love letter and I think it's so cute Hi guys, so as you may know, I recently went on a little road trip with my family because I am on summer vacation and right now it's been great. That's why I'm not really wearing that much makeup and my hair isn't really done or anything. Um, I just don't like to wear makeup and stuff in the summer. We went to Tyson's Corner, which is actually in Washington, D.C., and I wanted to go shopping there, so I picked up a few things there and then also along the way in the other places that we visited, I picked up a few things. And so I just figured I would go ahead and show you guys. And if you missed that little vlog, um, Ashley's Adventures type of video, I will link it down below for you guys to check out. So let's just get right into it. So one of the places that we went to was St. Michael's. And in St. Michael's, we have a favorite restaurant. As a family, we really like going to the Crab Claw. And basically, it's just like a seafood restaurant. But we love the crab there. So it's kind of like a tradition to go for us. So I picked up a t-shirt from there. And it's just yellow. And it's actually a kid's one but I got it in like a kid's large or something so it would fit. Plus they shrink anyways, but um, it just says the crab claw on the side with like a little logo and then on the back it has like a giant crab on it. I never have enough t-shirts, I don't know why. I mean my drawers are full of them, but for some reason I feel like I always need t-shirts. I feel like I can never have enough, but I just have an obsession with t-shirts. Also while we were in Annapolis, I think, yeah, we were in Annapolis and I got a bracelet from a store called American Holiday and I love having a ton of bracelets on my arm. So um, here is the bracelet that I got from American Holiday and I think it's really cute. It's this little multicolored beaded type of thing. You undo it and it's super, super long and then basically you have to wrap it around like twice or something and then it fits fine. So it's kind of like a double banded bracelet type of thing and I believe this was about six dollars something like that so when we went to Tyson's Corner we went to three different store well we went to a lot of stores but I only got things from three different stores um, and so I'm just gonna go ahead and show you first off here is Sephora and my little teeny weeny little Sephora bag um, so let's see first thing that I got was the Smith's minted rose lip balm so basically it's like the rosebud salve except it's minted and I ran out of my rosebud salve and I was obsessed with it I loved it a lot so I decided to try something new basically it's the same exact thing it just has like a minty sensation going on in it but I really like it it was only like seven dollars I also got a bronzer this is the benefit hula bronzer I am so beyond excited to try this out and use it everyone has this literally everyone I know basically has this and so um, I'm just excited to start using this because I don't have a good bronzer. I have like this CoverGirl one, but it's not that great. So I just kind of wanted to get a new one and try out one more on the higher end side of the makeup spectrum. <laughs> so last from Sephora, I got this lipstick and my cousin actually had this lipstick. Um, so I really wanted to try it out because she had it and it looked really nice. So it's a Sephora Rouge Shine lipstick. It's by the Sephora Collection. Um, brand that they have and it's in the color number 11. I'm pretty sure it's called Love Letter. I'm not positive, but it's so pretty. It's kind of like a nudish pink almost or like a mauve rosy color. I'm going to swatch it for you. It's super sheer, but I love it. I like how it's sheer because then um, it kind of looks more natural. So I really like this so far and it doesn't dry out my lips at all. So I would highly recommend these and I'm not sure how much these were. I'm going to check the receipt. Okay, so this was $12.50, so it's not that bad for a Sephora lipstick. I mean, it's really nice. So you guys should go try this out. Alrighty, so Victoria's Secret actually had a semi-annual sale. I know a lot of people um, went to go check it out and buy some things. So I went and, first of all, first of all, two little perfumes. Um, these are like the little ones that are next to the uh, register right before you buy your stuff, and it's like on the side. And I like these because I don't want to buy like the full size of things. Um, but I've already used these anyways and I had these sizes before and I used it all up so I figured I'd just repurchase them again. So basically they were on sale for $10 I think instead of um, $15. So um, I got the Sexy Little Things Noir Tees and the Victoria's Secret Bombshell Body Mist. These are both really awesome and they smell really really good. This one to me smells like, um, kind of like, it smells really really sweet but it's not like overpowering. I don't know, it just smells really nice and feminine and sweet. The bombshell one to me smells lighter and fresher, 
It still felt, smells like pretty feminine too, but it's like, it's lighter and fresher, kind of flowery, but not really, and it's sweet, but not as sweet as the other one. So, I really like, hey, squirt, okay. <laughs> so I really like these. <laughs> it almost smells like lime to me a little bit. Is that weird? I don't know. It smells good. So I got these for $20, and then I had like, um, cause originally they're 15, so technically I would have spent 30. Um, but I got them for 20 instead, but then I had like a gift card. Yeah, I had a gift card for like 5 or $6, so I ended up spending like, it was like two for the price of one, kind of. <laughs> so then I actually went back again, because the first time we weren't sure if we wanted to spend all our money there or go to a different store and spend it, so we were just like, okay, well, we'll go to some other stores and then come back if we have some money left over and if we still want whatever. And so we did, me and my sister went back there, and I got a bathing suit top. And I'm really glad that I did it because um, it's really cute. But it looks like this. It kind of looks like a little girl's swim top. It looks like for an 8-year-old. But it's actually really cute. It looks really nice when you wear it. But I love the little ruffly things on it. And I think this was on a really good sale. I'm going to check the receipt. Yeah, so this top was $8.99, which is amazing for a Victoria's Secret swimsuit top. So I just got the top. I didn't get any bottoms because I couldn't find matching bottoms. But I already have hot pink bottoms that match these anyways. I think this was like $30 and then marked down to $17 and then I got it for $8.99. So I was really excited um, to find this. Last but not least, I went to a store called Garage. And we actually don't have a garage near us, like the store. But um, I've heard about it a couple times. So when I saw it there, I was like, ooh, let's go try it out check out what's in there and it's really awesome I think I found one of my new favorite stores it kinda reminds me of Paxson a little bit or Cotton On kind of combined and things in there are like everything in there is really affordable so I got two things they're both tops ah, okay okay so it's this and it's really really cute it was on sale for 10 bucks so I figured I had to get it and so I really like the little flowery details on it and it's kind of like a halter top. The sides are kind of cut really low so you have to wear like a bandeau or something. The last thing that I got from Garage was this little top and I think it's so cute. It's really like edgy. I really like it. So it looks like this. It's got mesh on the top and then it's got just like or it has, okay, what am I talking about? Basically, it has mesh on the top, and then um, the rest is like black, and it's just a little crop top. It's so, so cute. Um, I will insert a picture of me wearing this as well, but um, I wore it with some shorts that I already had, and I just think it's so adorable. This was about $14, I think. Well, I think that's everything for the haul, so stay tuned for some more summer-themed videos. Um, I'm going to be on summer break for a while now. I just got out of school, so stay tuned for more summer-themed videos and stuff, and if you, oh, I just I always say and stuff in all of my videos. Like it's it's really hard. It's like it's like a really bad habit of mine. I'm really sorry. Please subscribe if you want to see more of my videos and keep up with them weekly. And let me know what you think down below in the comments. Like this video if you enjoyed all that jazz. So I gotta go now. I gotta do some laundry and clean my room. Yay! This has been a great summer. <laughs> But really, I gotta go, so I will see you guys next Sunday. Bye!